Today, we're gonna to count down the top 10 best Netflix documentaries that you should be watching. While Netflix gets a lot of praise for the TV shows that are available on the streaming service, Netflix also has a lot of documentaries that may be worth your time to watch. It could be difficult to decide which documentary to watch, so we narrowed down the list for you. So get out your pen and paper and get ready to add some of these documentaries to your watch list as we show you the top 10 best documentaries you should be watching on Netflix Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Number 10, The Imposter. The Imposter tells the hard to believe story of a Frenchman who claims to be the 16 year old son from a Texas family that went missing three years prior. There are twists and turns throughout with brilliant storytelling from the actual people that lived through the ordeal. If you haven't seen The Imposter already, you should definitely check out this psychological thriller. Number nine, Amanda Knox. Amanda Knox is about an American student who was accused and tried for the 2007 murder of her roommate while living in Italy. Amanda, often referred to as Foxy Knoxy, was the center of a highly publicized case with investigations in Italy and the US coming to different conclusions. If you enjoyed Making a Murderer, then you should enjoy this one too. Number eight, Making a Murderer. Making a Murderer follows the story of Stephen Avery over a 10 year period. Stephen, a DNA exoneree, while in the middle of exposing the corruption within the local law enforcement, again finds himself the key suspect in a grisly new murder. Things are never as they appear in this crime documentary. Number seven, Cartel Land. Cartel Land gives fascinating insight into the drug wars on the Mexico-United States border. This documentary shows teams assembling on both sides of the border to fight the Mexican drug cartels. There is so much tension that is built up in this documentary that you may find it hard to forget. Number six, Virunga. Virunga takes place in the Virunga National Park in the Eastern Congo. The story focuses on the struggles between park rangers and several adversaries, including the Islamic Revolutionary Army, poachers, and oil company goons. It all plays out like a motion picture thriller that at times will have you on the edge of your seat. Number five, Blackfish. Blackfish is a story about killer whales and the debates surrounding their captivity. Involved in the deaths of three people, the story focuses quite a bit on the killer whale Tilikum. This documentary also questions the ethics and methods used to capture these whales. Blackfish is credited for lowering SeaWorld's attendance numbers and convincing Pixar to change the ending of Finding Dory. Number four, Food Inc. Food Inc. is a sobering tour about where most of the food you eat comes from. It's both interesting and gross while showcasing the food industry's vile practices and corruption. I would recommend that you don't eat while watching Food Inc. Number three, the True Cost. The True Cost sheds light on the fashion industry's practices on the production chain that many people may not be aware of. It shows how the clothing most of us wear is made by underpaid workers and children who often risk their lives every day. Of the many fashion documentaries on Netflix, this one is a must watch. Number two, Dear Zachary, A Letter to a Son About His Father. Dear Zachary is the story about a man that gets murdered before the birth of his son and a friend who realizes the young boy won't have any memories of his father, so decides to make a film about his father. The documentary dives into the family history and the circumstances of the murder. Do not read any spoilers or summaries before viewing this documentary. Just add it to your Netflix watch list and watch it. Number one, Planet Earth. Planet Earth is a BBC nature documentary that is simply amazing. From the incredible videography to the great storytelling, this is a must watch. There is rare footage of animals doing things you won't believe. The Birds of Paradise segment is something you have to see. Now more than 10 years old, the HD imagery in Planet Earth is still some of the best to be captured in a nature documentary. What is your favorite Netflix documentary? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure to click the subscribe button below this video for more on the best from Netflix and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.